All right, so Gilbert Burns wants Connor out of the UFC rankings, and thank God someone said it. Someone finally said it. Someone said it. Get Connor out. Didn't he retire? Apparently. Can we, can we pull him out yep. of the lightweight rankings? Can we pull him out of the welterweight? And can we just forget that he even <laughs> exists? Because all I want to do is watch real champions, <laughs> real prize fighters fight, and not dudes who, who tweet every freaking week that they're going to fight, and then they don't fight. And it's supposed to be my season. I'm going to have three fights, and I fight a, a guy in Donald Cowboy Cerrone, and I deserve the next title shot. Shut the hell up. Uh, forget that he exists. Dude, I've been trying to do dude. that for the last two and a half years. Bro, it's just like... It's I, impossible. He's in the news every day. It's every like, it's day. Crazy. It's just so... It's. I get uh, it. He's the biggest star of all time in the UFC. And rightfully so. The man has made a name for himself. He knew how to market. Connor is tremendously smart in that aspect. And I give him all the credit in the world for that. But I don't want to fucking hear him when it comes to fighting. Because he's not going to fight. Yeah. This podcast is about fighters who fight. Yeah. Connor McGregor does not fight. Yep. He talks. Yeah. And he'll talk for two years. He just wanted to get a win. He wanted to end his career with a win. Let him let him sail off in the wind with his four hundred million dollars and this uh, proper twelve, you know, whiskey. Yeah. Let him do it. But I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it anymore. Yeah. Until he signs on the dotted line, I don't want to talk about Connor. Yeah. Neither does Dana. Every time you ask Dana a question about Connor, he goes, Connor McGregor's retired. Yeah. Connor McGregor is retired. Well, in, he's in, still in, fucking three in the world on your rankings, motherfucker. I know. Henry Pol- Cejudo got pulled out instantly. 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 He, real quick, get him the yeah. fuck out. Fuck him. That's exactly what happened. Yep. What's the difference here? Oh, one's not bringing in millions and millions and millions of dollars. Oh, and one, you didn't gurgle his nuts for six years, essentially. So Yeah, but I mean, I, I also don't blame Dana White either. I don't want to talk about... I wouldn't... If I was Dana White, I got all these fights going on. I don't want to talk about Connor either. Yeah. He, yeah. he retired. When Connor wants to come back, he'll come back. If, do I think? Do I think Connor could potentially come back? Yeah, if he gets the fight he wants and the money he wants. Well, but let's be real; again, it's pretty obvious he's probably going to fight again. And if yeah. he doesn't, it's going to be a giant shame because essentially the guy's leaving in his prime. And let's be real; he never has to fight again. No, he never does. Never, never. He never had to take the Habib fight. No, nope. he never had to take it, the Cowboy fight. Nope. Why did he? Because he's a competitor at heart. And so he is. you know, we talk all this shit, but it's true. The man's a competitor at heart. Oh, absolutely. And he wants to compete. I don't see you him don't, retiring. You don't get to where Conor McGregor does unless you are an elite competitor. Yes. Unless you're an elite athlete. I'm not taking any of that. I'm not saying that this dude doesn't didn't no, I, deserve no, to be No, he's champ. just annoying as fuck and needs to shut the fuck right. up. I get it's that. It's just, you know, my focus is on fights every single yes. week. It's not on what, you know, I never want to make this a, uh, a tabloid. Podcast, yeah, yeah Conor podcast. Because yeah, it's just, essentially. man, I just, every single week there's something with Conor really is. I mean, we bring it up. We talk about it and that's fine, but I never want to get, I never want to be on that bandwagon. I'm like, Oh, Connor, Connor, this is going to headline every single one of our episodes. Absolutely.